It all started back in 1790. And then, every 10 years after that, the Constitution requires that every person in the United States be counted. It's the only time that everyone is counted. We're talking about the decennial census. Why is it important? The results are used to reapportion the House of Representatives, determining how many seats each state gets. Michigan has lost a representative every decade since the 1970 census. State officials redraw the boundaries of the congressional and state legislative districts in their state to account for population shifts. School districts also use this information to track changes in the population. More than $675 billion in federal funds, grants, and support to states, counties, and communities are based on census data. Money is received for schools, hospitals, roads, public works, local communities, and other vital programs. Some of those programs include the National School Lunch Program, Head Start, Medicare Part B, Medicaid, and Highway Planning and Construction. What other ways are the census data used? Planning for hospitals and senior care facilities. For urban land use. For health and educational services for people with disabilities. Businesses use the data to decide where to build factories, offices, and stores, which ultimately creates new jobs. Real estate developers use the data to decide where to build new homes and revitalize old neighborhoods. Residents use it to support community uh, initiatives involving legislation, uh, quality of life, and consumer advocacy for developing a variety of assistance programs. And so much more. So when you receive your invitation to respond in March, just go online and you'll be done in less than 10 minutes. It's only nine questions. Make sure everyone in your household is counted. It's important. I count. I count. I count. I count. I count. I count.